I'm Paul Larson, and it's time to shine the spotlight on two guys who grew up in a house in Philadelphia where they say exploring the arts was valued more than getting good grades. Now Kevin Bacon and his brother Michael both have extremely successful careers in the arts, and they each enjoy a second career that allows them to work as a team. I caught up with them in Albany, New York. So wonderful, so magical, so romantic. Kevin Bacon knows concert audiences behave differently from movie audiences. We were playing a show, and there was this girl in the, in the, uh, in the front row, and then all of a sudden, I turned around, she had taken out her breasts and put them on the stage. And uh, the joke afterwards was that, are you in showbiz? No, I'm not. Well, get your breasts off the stage. <laughs> Music takes center stage when film composer Michael Bacon and his sibling Kevin join forces to perform as the Bacon Brothers. When you began performing as the Bacon Brothers, was Kevin's fame a double-edged sword? Well, it's, um, I, I guess you would say it still is. I mean, there's certainly a part of me that feels like, you know, if we ever did have a hit record and people really picked up in the band on a, you know, a large scale, that, you know, it would be sort of like proving something. But um, if people come out because they want to see a movie star and see what color socks he has on, I'm fine with that because generally they leave, even if they don't really love the kind of music or the style we play, at least they leave knowing that we're very committed to a, to a live show and we have a responsibility to entertain people the best way we can. I'm a prisoner, yeah. I'm a prisoner, yeah. I'm terrified of what's outside beyond that door. They have fun with the fans, but take the singing and songwriting seriously. If you're asking people to come out and pay to see a show, better not be a joke. You gotta take it seriously. Michael was serious about music from a very young age. I feel like I was kind of born that way. Um, my, my earliest memories, besides listening to music, I was very attracted to the actual instruments themselves. I remember the, my first cello I got when I was eight years old. I can remember the room it was in, I can remember what the varnish smelled like. It was, it just was a magical thing to me and it really has never stopped. I just, I love playing instruments, listening to them, writing for them, uh, producing them, composing. It's just who I am. Younger brother Kevin played percussion in family bands as they were growing up. After Kevin became an accomplished film actor, Michael found success in film too, as a music composer. But he dropped his goal of stardom on stage. When the kid came along, my son Neil, who's now 30, I, I just I looked at him and said, this isn't, this isn't going to happen. You know, you got to let dreams of being a, a rock star or a, you know, a folk star or a singer songwriter, you got to let that go because you can't support a family. I tried to write the masterpiece, but I could not make it fly. No one can say I did not try. It won't be in my pockets when I die. That but the urge to perform never completely vanished. The brothers were writing songs together in the mid 1990s when an opportunity arose. We got a call from a buddy of ours from Philadelphia, where we grew up. And he had heard a demo that we had done. And the demo was basically to try to get other people to cut some songs that we had written. Um, and he said, how about a Bacon Brothers show? So you know, he kind of came up with the name. And we figured it just yeah, put a band together and did one show. And that was it. Just kind of took off after that. For almost two decades, they've been releasing albums and entertaining audiences at about 40 live shows a year. Oh, 
Do you break away from a film set to go to a concert? Yeah. Yeah, often. You know, Kevin's a very good sport about staying up all night and hopping on a plane and, you know, getting up bleary-eyed and going to the soundtrack, so. Do you ever wish you had started singing professionally earlier? Would you prefer that people be screaming after you because you're a rock star, or are you happy that they're screaming after you because you're a movie star? I love being an actor. I love acting, you know? I really do. It's something that uh, has, from the first time I walked into an acting class, I found it um, therapeutic, and I found it uh, to be n not easy, but a place where I felt um, comfortable. I've only been a movie star, you know, I've never been a rock and roll star, so I don't really know. Well, after you've had several hit movies, do you find nowadays your film career gets more enjoyable? Mm. Um, let's see. I'll tell you what I, what's really enjoyable. The time between action and cut. That is something that I love more than anything because it's my time to do the thing that I do. What gets less and less enjoyable is the, the struggle to get to that time. Um, traveling, you know, look, I don't like to look a gift horse in the mouth, but taking pictures with everybody, the interviews, present company excluded, you know, the business, the negotiations, there's just, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot of, that's all, that's all the stuff that's just not fun. But the actual, actual acting, I, I still really love. Rarely do I work on something and I don't just love that piece of it. Oh man, I feel guilty about the picture we're going to be taking <laughs> afterwards. <laughs>What's different now is that, you know, 15 years, even 10 years ago, uh, the only time you take pictures with people is when they had a camera, which was everybody didn't walk around with a camera. But these days, things have changed. Every, every person in this room has a camera. Every person, pretty much every person in this city has a camera. And I remember you said something where if it's a cell phone, it has a different sort of protocol than a yeah. camera. And right. personally, the cell phone. Here's the cell goes. phone protocol. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, can I take your picture? No, you know how you doing? Or you know, it's it's, it's very it's very different. You know, you get all the time. Just well, technology is changing our world so much. It certainly is. It certainly is. Changing technology affected one of Kevin's favorite songs that he's written, "Go My Way," the iPod song. You say, oh my God, oh my God. Where did she get that body? What she got on the iPod that gives the hips that sway? You know, go my way. I was kind of channeling myself uh, as a young guy when I first moved to New York and, you know, living with some hope and, you know, things just aren't going your way, all that, all that kind of stuff. And, and seeing a girl that, you know, gives you some hope, you know, I mean, that's what this song was really about. Now, the, the thing is, is that I used the word iPod, so there were no iPods when I was that age. When I was 18 years old, it would have been called Go My Way, the Walkman song. But Walkman doesn't rhyme with uh, body and uh, God. Those are the three rhymes, yeah. Tonight, things just might be going my way. Bacon Brothers projects have raised money for worthy causes, such as this traditional parade in Philadelphia. Their projects have involved collaborations with the Bellamy Brothers and actress Shannon Doherty. I'm guilty of, I'm guilty of the crime. But with all their success, still no hit single. Would be nice, you know. I'd love to write a song that outlived my brother and I and the band that's still remembered long after we're forgotten. So I dream, keep dreaming. And I sang Sam Dead Cast that way of the boss and what it happened. Well every happy song I sang it sounded. But while they dream of a chart topper, they're still living out their dreams of entertaining audiences all over the world. 
I consider myself the luckiest of people to now have a band, which I used to do as a singer, songwriter, and performer, and also be scoring documentaries and, and feature films. It is a blessing all the time to uh, be able to have not one but two jobs that I enjoy doing. And I've been at this for a long time and I've seen a lot of roadkill. You know, I've seen a lot of people that haven't been able to hang in there and uh, I, I feel really, really lucky. To learn more about recordings and upcoming Bacon Brothers concerts, head to their website, baconbrothers.com. And for Bacon Brothers music videos and additional interview footage, head to the Arts and Culture section at borderlessnorth.org. Spotlight segments are funded in part by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park. Don't